what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show off these three grip trainers that I designed. For the record, the design is not mine. I was inspired by something that I saw online. Um, but the files and the solid works that I did design, those files are mine. And I used um, solid works to model these up and then 3D print them. So I'm going to go ahead and show how these work and that you can 3D print your own um, gym accessories, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So let's get to it. All right, so there are a couple things that I used. Number one, I needed a pipe. So I used a pipe and flange. The pipe has a screw hole so the flange can screw onto it. Next, I used a pin and that's gonna hold the accessory onto the pipe. Then of course, I had the 3D printed accessory. So here's how it works. I'm gonna take the pipe and make sure that there is a drilled out hole and it fits between the accessory and the pipe. Next, I have to make sure that the hole in the grip accessory fits around the pipe and it's gonna slap right on top. Then I'm gonna take the pin and this pin's gonna go in between the two holes, the matching holes, and it's going to lock that grip accessory onto the pipe. It's as simple as that. Not much more can go wrong here. And that is the entire thing and it's the exact same thing with the other accessory we're just gonna take out the pin slap it right on top and then replace the pin and boom switched out it's a different type of grip style and it's gonna work exactly the same All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it off in action. I'm gonna be doing the palm gripper first. This one, in my opinion, is much, much harder than the pinch grip, the other accessory. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show off the pinch gripper. This one is just using the four fingers and the thumb to grip the pincher, and then you're just going to deadlift it. If you're using the grip trainers as intended, you should never reach 90 pounds. But just to show how strong they can be, I went ahead and put on 90 pounds and deadlifted it once, just to show that the layer lines won't break. Now with all that out of the way, I'm going to bring you into SolidWorks and show you how I designed it. Alright, so now that we're in SolidWorks, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pinch gripper first. So as you can see, here's the design. I'm going to go ahead and roll it all the way back to the beginning and show you what I started with. So the initial starting point for me was a cylinder. So what I did was I sketched out <clears throat> two circles, one the inner circle and then the other one I did an offset. I wanted it to be 0.35 inches away from the um, center circle. So that is the first extrude. What I did was I extruded it up to a distance that I wanted it to be and moved on to the next step. The next step consists of me just making a solid cylinder and then continuing on was the pinch grip, the part where, you, where you'd be pinching. So this one was pretty simple. All I did was do a arc and I believe I did a mid plane. Yep. Did a arc across the right plane and then <clears throat> a tangent arc to these ends right here and then I just did a mid plane extrude so that's how I got that and then I went around and did some chamfers so I did a chamfer on the pinch here <clears throat> I did a chamfer down here um, this chamfer right here for me, um, 3D printing it was necessary because if I were to take out this chamfer, this would be very hard to 3D print. I know this would be the optimal design, but that would be very hard to 3D, 3D print. So that is why there is this 45 degree chamfer here. Um, is it 45 degrees? Let me check that. A uh, 35 degree chamfer. So that's the chamfer that I did here. So um, my 3D printer could print without supports. So I'm not wasting too much material. Then I'll go ahead and forward the few, the next two, and these are just my cut extrudes. So all I did was extrude a hole perpendicular with the um, 
perpendicular with the face and made that a through hole. So that is the pinhole. I can go ahead and jump into the other one. So that is going to be my, it's called the Pluto grip here. I might call it a palm gripper. So an important thing to note when I'm designing these is that I have to make sure that this pinhole is the exact same on the pinch grip and also the palm gripper because if they're not then it's going to um, it's going to be impossible for me to switch them out because when I switch them out on the on the pipe the hole in the pipe is going to be a little bit off so I won't be able to fit the pin through <clears throat> or, at least, or at least I'd have to do some modifications on this one after but I'd rather just print it and have it ready so same thing for the initial cylinder um, the only part different is this feature right here <coughs> excuse me so this one was a revolve feature if you know how to do revolves it's pretty dang easy all I did was take a um, half circle a quarter circle all I did was take a quarter circle and then revolved it around a revolved it around the um, center so that is how I got this little half sphere on top and of course just did the cut extrude through and then the chamfer for ease of printing so that's it that's simply what I did in SolidWorks it's really not that complicated of a design um, the only thing <clears throat> that I would note when you're designing something like this is making sure compatibility across each one because you want to make sure that each one fits on the same thing so you're not making you know multiple things afterwards all right and last but not least I'm gonna be showing you how I did it in Cura how I sliced it so when I bring the model in it's sideways so I want to make sure that the bottom is laying flat Oops. I'm gonna select like this face and it aligns with the plate so now that I see that it's above that's below the plate I'm gonna go ahead and zero it out zero it out so there we go that's it um, that's what I had what I used to print it uh, initially I did a 1.2 nozzle so you don't see 1.2 nozzle here it's because I manually changed it for here um, but let's just say I'm doing a 0.8 millimeter nozzle that's what I did on my second one I did a 0.5 layer height with an initial of 0.6 so it sticks a little bit better um, and then all of this was auto filled in my infill surprisingly for a for a accessory that's going to be used in the gym I used a relatively low fill density so 20% worked for me and it's provided a more than strong enough um, bond um, my print temperature is normally at 205 I have it at 245 because I printed with PETG previously um, and my build plate is normally at 60 degrees Celsius Whenever I print with a larger nozzle, I usually use a slower print speed because I want to make sure I have the best stick um, on the initial layer and I don't want the print failing later on because that's a lot of filament to be using when you're printing with bigger nozzles. And yes, I did, I did do a brim. Um, actually, no, I did not do a brim. I did a skirt because I was confident in a skirt uh, for the model and of course no supports so those are my settings um, you can adjust it if you want to do something like this you can adjust it to however you like to 3d print so just make those adjustments accordingly and that is about it so that's all I had to show you all today just my Pluto grip or the palm gripper and the pinch grip so you know, if you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, um, sharing it. If you like these little accessories, you know, I plan on coming out with maybe some more videos of things that I'm making and just progress in my general um, engineering stuff because I am a student, so I'm doing lots of many, many things. Uh, but anyways, if you don't want to ramble on, consider liking, subscribing. Thank you for watching all the way through if you did and I'll see you around.